Hello to all students on the uh, IT program and we're going to be looking at a number of aspects um, basically it is information the information and communication Communication, what? Technology. In short, you all know what it's called ICT. Now, ICT is divided into a number of components, which I'm going to go through step by step. And I know this group is going to be looking at uh, the packages. And in particular, this session will, will focus on the uh, presentation software. And the actual package you will look at will be PowerPoint from Microsoft Access. Now, before we go any further, I just want to break down the actual objectives and how this lesson is going to proceed right the major objectives are as follows and i want you to follow this step by step because it makes the foundation to your actual um, it development as you've seen already ict is a technology which means we're going to be dealing with a technical aspect of communication now, for this level, which is level 1 cross level 2, we'll go to a meaningful detail pertaining to level 1 and level 2. So both these groups can be able to uh, use the materials. Now, the basics. We've got to understand the basics. Okay? And the objectives to be able to identify components components of what of a stand On computer properly known as PC the personal computer which is a desktop but very similar to a laptop okay and the second part of the objective will be we are going to describe and demonstrate uh, sorry I beg your pardon let me just you can read that can you yeah demonstrate the use of software These will form um, largely part of our actual flow of the program, ICT. I like traditional ways of uh, teaching because they are very effective, they are very interactive, and as I write these notes on the board, as you can see, you must also write. So when we say identify it simply means pinpoint we are going to say that is a component of a standalone that is and that okay and then when, when we come to a place of description this will give a bit more of detail to what actually is supposed to know if you can describe something 
you should be able now to demonstrate exactly how it works. And at the end of the day, you must be able to use the software very well. If you can use it, then you're an expert. And I trust that I will help you in doing just that. Now, let, let us go and um, describe or and identify the components of the components of what? A standalone PC, a computer. And before I go into the components of a standalone computer, probably it would be good and prudent enough for us to break the main building blocks of um, the ICT that we're going into. We'll find that ICT is built on two main aspects. There's the hardware, there's the hardware part, and there is the usable, what normally users interact with. This is the software. When I say interact with, it is what makes the hardware function. Because if you see a computer, the hardware is a tangible thing that you, you can touch, such as a mouse, keyboard, okay? Those are the hardware components that we know. Let's have a look. Here you have a mouse, you have a keyboard, you have a monitor, okay? What else do you have? You, you, you have the, inter these are the major, the external parts that you can see, mouse, keyboard and the monitor, and you'll be able to interact with the software, with the computer. But what makes, let me just, because it's a level one and level two, let's just end in there because there are some internal parts of the hardware, which when you open up a computer, you see them in there, but we don't want to go that far, okay? It's for the next uh, level three here. Now, the mouse, you see at the top here, and the keyboard, keyboard, I, I left out a D. Uh, where am I? trying to track myself back. Let me just delete all of this. Just, just keep it there and rewrite it. Okay. I'm going to re rewrite that. It is key. Okay, we've got it. We've got it. Have I did it something? The monitor is gone. Okay, let's keep it that way. We, we, and the keyboard. If you want to use a computer, you look like you're likely going to touch a mouse, then a keyboard, and you're going to see things through the monitor. The monitor, which is here, right, is also called the visual display unit, which is called V. DU, D stands for display. Okay? This is display. U stands for unit. Okay? V stands for, V stands for visual. Okay? You can see visual. <laughs> Make your pardon my handwriting, visual. So you can see. That's what the monitor does. But you see, the thing that makes these mouses and keyboards and to be able to work are what we call the software. The software. But I won't go into the details of how the mouse is made to work, what type of software makes the, uh, uh, the, the, the mouse and the keyboard or monitor to work. I'll simply say they are called drivers. Okay? The software that makes yeah, all these components work 
Akkord. Drivers. They're called drivers, but our main interest will be the application. Under the software, I want us to look at the, at the applications. Okay? And also, under the soft impact, this one is on its own. It's a big, big one. I'll just put it here in the box. It's called the operating. It's called the what? The operating system. The, the operating system, we call this the heart of the computer. Or the blood of a computer. Without the operating system, every other of these mechanisms, using the mouse or the drivers to work, they won't do work at all unless the computer has the operating system and on the operating system we have the application software so this is the actual structure in a nutshell of the computer system we're going to be looking at are you with, with me and in short if we can summarize here we find that i'll just enter i'll just insert a new blank we can summarize here simply saying the computer is now divided into um, into is divided into oh let me just save that one actually was I supposed to save that one or cancel cancel save oops yeah new page I'm not saving now so we can simply say the uh, operating si the computers uh, systems are two major components this the, the, the software the the, the, the the software which we just saw okay and the hardware and the main components the main components of the computer system a standalone computer system are simply the hardware and the software now in terms of the whole software system I would like have to draw a very interesting diagram which I'd like you to know because every person that comes on the computer program no matter what they got to understand its mechanism and the structure the computer system itself as as a center of it what we call the CPU the central processing unit this is the heart of the computer it determines how fast the computer is how can how it can process information it comes into the CPU as a matter of information if you want to learn more about it you can go and do research on the CPU and you find that in there there is what we call the arithmetic logic unit we won't discuss any details in there now here we have also what we call input input what input devices these are hardware components we use okay we can put input devices we use to enter details into the computer and then from there information goes out to what we call the output devices output output devices okay then the computer to function very well it must have what we what we call what we call the storage storage or memory so this is how we see what is storage or the memory I hope my diagrams can be better than that why is my writing so big yeah the storage or memory then there's also what we call the here storage or memory that's where we have the uh, um, uh, maybe um, maybe the, the the hard disk drive floppy or oh, floppy doesn't exist anymore uh, it, 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 it's there somewhere but it's not that, uh, very much used let me just let me just give you the latest one so that you don't get confused um, I'll improve my, my, my diagram. Uh, I don't like it. Ah, you like it? I like it too. <laughs> I like it. Okay. On the storage, on the storage, 
on the storage we have hard disk drive. We have maybe the CD, ROM, or the a DVD rewritables drive. And these come together. But then the, there's what we call the main the main memory right up here. I'm gonna put it in green. The main memory, which is right on top here. Okay? The the this the main memory. The main memory, this one, is very interesting because it's broken up into what we call the temporary memory and also the permanent memory. The permanent one is called uh, read-only memory, ROM, R-O-M. The temporary is called a random access memory. So we have um, here ROM and then we have RAM. R stands for read, O stands for only, M stands for memory. This is a permanent memory. You cannot erase the stuff from there. Then RAM, random access memory, you can actually erase some stuff from there. When you're working with a computer, saving work, etc., the memory part of the computer that works is the random access memory. I think at this stage that's what we can do. Are you happy with that? So these are the major components really of a whole computer system. And only just before we go, I'll, I'll just bring up the, the two parts, the output devices here and the input devices. What are they? So that you actually now understand the way the computer works. So when we, you send stuff into the computer through the input devices, the input devices, okay, the input what? Devices, they are actually the keyboard because you use this to enter data in the computer by typing a mouse because you click, that's the input device. And there are other, these are the basic ones which a computer must have, otherwise the computer won't work. There are other input devices that you begin to buy, joysticks and microphones, etc. These are used to enter data in the computer as well. But basically, this is what we have. On the output devices, okay, the output devices, these are devices that help you to see what's going on in the computer. The major one we have is a VDU, which is called the visual, right? Visual what? Display, display what? Unit. Okay. And this actually it is a monitor. And they come in different shapes and sizes. These are the basic um, components which needs to be with any computer that you buy. So a standalone computer, uh, seated, be it a desktop, as in the case we're discussing, or a laptop must have these components. The mouse must be there, which is uh, the part that you touch on the keyboard on the laptop, or the actual mouse as in by hand, which you normally use. It must also have the monitor for your visual effects, and that will make a computer basically complete. Then the other things that you add on in terms of uh, in musical uh, outputs, you, 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 you can now include them as part of uh, accessories, okay? Now here is a task. I want you to identify task. Task one. I want you to draw this table. Okay. Okay, this table here, you're going to put um, input Inputs, devices, here it's out, put, devices. I want to make a list of all the input devices you know in the world. I've given you the mouse, I've 
given you the, the keyboard and you can put other input devices also out, output devices you know sorry you know in the world make a list of them example could be speakers it's, oh sorry 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 bigger button my, 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 my orientation is not very good let me just clean that I clean that again okay I clean up that. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, they, what, what I want you to do there is basically um, here you are, you are going to list all all the outputs that you know. Okay. Outputs. Output devices. So make your own table. You know the examples we have on this side. Let me just. Oh, sorry. I beg your pardon. Okay. You, you know. Let, let me do this again. Let me do this again. Let me do this again. Let me do it again. So here, I want in put devices. Okay. Make a list of them, and I also want out put. Devices, make a list. It could be speakers, sounds. It could be microphone. Okay? Microphone. So come up with your own over here. Come up with your own over here. Okay? This ends this session. Once you answer the question, you can upload on the Moodle if you're on the assessment. If you're not on the assessment, answer it with development, and then we'll continue. This covers the uh, objectives, and um, the one we began with, uh, let me just do a quick recap. Our objective uh, that we started with, I hope we saved, yes. Uh -huh. The basics, identify components of a standalone PC. We have identified those uh, components. I think we are satisfying um, I, uh, the uh, number one here. That's being satisfied. That's being satisfied. Number one is being satisfied. So we have looked at that. Now, the next session, we're going to be looking to describe and demonstrate the use of software. And we're going to pick it up from there. In the meantime, thank you very much. If you've got any questions, go to the website which appears on the screen there and email us and if you have got a, a session with your tutor next time physically raise the questions raise the questions with the tutor thank you very much